The Apostles of Jesus, Episode 1, Setting the Stage Christianity is the best-known religion in the world, and Jesus Christ is the central figure of the faith. But only about 50% of the New Testament focuses on the life and ministry of Jesus. The remaining half highlights the lives, teachings, and works of his 12 apostles. Clearly, their importance in the establishment of the faith can't be ignored. And yet, most of us know very little about the 12 men Jesus called and ordained to spread his word. In this series, we'll look at what we know about each of Jesus' original apostles, what their most important contributions were, and perhaps even a little bit about what we can learn from their lives. But the very first question we should ask is, why 12 apostles? Is there something magic about that number? Well, Jesus at one point told them that they would sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, which is interesting because they were not from all of those individual tribes. In fact, many of them were related to Jesus as cousins or they were in the same area, which means they would have been of the same tribe. So they were not the tribe of Dan and the tribe of Issachar. And yet he told them that they would do that. While there may well be a connection here between the 12 tribes of Israel and Christ's 12 apostles, we also know the number 12 was commonly used in antiquity to suggest priesthood or authorization. Matthew records that Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority or power. So the choice of 12 apostles may have been a way of suggesting that these men held a special calling and authority that other followers of Jesus did not. But what exactly is an apostle? The Greek word translated apostle means one who sent. But sent to do what? Sent to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Namely, that through Jesus' life, his teachings, and redemptive sacrifice, all can be saved from death and sin. This definition may explain why the book of Hebrews speaks of Jesus as our apostle. Just as the Father sent Jesus to reveal to the world his mission of redemption, those 12 apostles were called and sent forth to share the same message with the world. It's for this reason that many scholars equate apostles with missionaries, because both seek to convert others to Christ. But how are apostles different than typical Christian missionaries today? An apostle was one that was sent out meaning that he had to have a relationship with his teacher or his master, whereas a disciple is someone who simply follows Jesus. The book of Acts may hold the answer to this question. After Judas's betrayal and death, the remaining apostles got together to replace him. As Peter laid out all the qualifications for a new apostle, he spoke of the importance of an apostle being with the movement from its early days, perhaps so that he would know the teachings of Jesus and know his miraculous power. Peter also said the new apostle must become a witness of Christ's resurrection. In other words, one thing that made the 12 apostles unique was that they didn't just believe in Jesus and his resurrection, they had actually seen him and could testify to the world of the reality of his resurrection. Luke emphasizes after his resurrection, Jesus spent 40 days with his apostles, giving them many convincing proofs that he was alive, so they could witness of this fact to the entire world. While popular movies might give us a different impression, the first chapter of the book of Acts suggests that around the time of Jesus' crucifixion, Christianity was fairly small. Some scholars think it may have been as small as 120 people, Regardless of how many Christians there were at the time of Jesus' death, what we can say definitively is that these 12 rough, inexperienced men took the fledgling faith that Jesus started and through their missionary efforts, turned it into a world phenomenon. But Jesus said that unless a kernel of wheat can go into the ground and die, it should not bear fruit. And I think that's why 11 of the 12 apostles gave their life 
These 12 apostles were ultimately responsible for taking the message of Jesus and spreading it outside the boundaries of first century Palestine. Christians sometimes fail to understand how important the work of the apostles was to the spread of the message of Christ, and we fail to give them their credit due for their service, sacrifice, and suffering on behalf of Jesus. In the remaining episodes of this series, we'll examine in detail what we know about the lives and contributions of Jesus' chosen apostles and how that impacted the faith he founded and the lives of those who follow him.